Hello everybody, it's i 217 welcome to a LEGO Star Wars set review. Today we look at set number 75528, Ray. This contains 85 pieces and released in 2017, uh, part of the last Jedi Star Wars set lineup, and is a part of the Buildable Figures line of sets, and retail for $24.99 USD, $29.99 Canadian, and £24.99. Pounds. Here we have the Ray buildable figure. She stands 24 centimeters or 9.5 inches tall. Um, definitely has action figure vibes when I, you know, pick this up. I mean, like, you know, you got bendable knees, feet, arms, legs, even a posable ish head. It can kind of turn side to side. It basically feels like an action figure made out of Lego Technic pieces. Um, <laughs> And to tie in with that action figure actionness, uh, you got this little knob at the back, and if you turn that, it's like raises her arm to like do it like a, a striking pose with her lightsaber. So that's pretty cool. Um, the lightsaber uses, uh, I'd say, two new unique pieces uh, that are included in buildable figure sets with lightsabers. That lightsaber piece is a rubber piece, so you could bend it a little bit, have some lightsaber duels. Um, there are quite a few printed parts on this set. Uh, both of the shoulder pads are printed as well as the torso plate. Uh, I think those are the only things that are printed. Um, she does have some unique pieces that I think were used in other buildable figures, but, you know, just makes it a little bit more sleek for a build. Um, <laughs> uh, another thing for her weapons is that she has a blaster from the one that she got in The Force Awakens. It's a little weird looking compared to the one that was released in the first Ray figure. I think that one looked a little bit better than this one. And besides, you don't really have anywhere you can put it if you don't want Ray to hold the blaster. I mean, like, I tried putting it in the back here and it looked like it fit in just fine, but it kind of doesn't stay there. So, yeah. Another thing to note is that it does come with a cloth-like piece right here that is exclusive just to this set. It's a nice cloth fabric. Um, I have no idea if this is accurate to what the cloth fabric looks like on her actual outfit in-universe. I'm just going to take it at Lego's word. So, yeah, nothing much else to say other than she does have an exclusively molded head that, again, is also exclusive just to this set. And I think this captured Ray's face a lot better than the first one did. Because that one just had her in uh, wraps or whatever it was because it, it was in her desert outfit. But yeah, nothing much else I could say about this figure. So let's look at what else is included in this set. Taking a quick look at the instructions, you got the bark art at the front. And opening it up, it just tells you that, hey, this is a buildable figure. Sort out your parts accordingly, which is optional. And it's your typical buildable figure instructions. You get to the back, it tells you about that feature I showed you. Parts listing. Then some advertisements for the other 2017 buildable figures. As well as this little mini poster at the back. That looks really cool. And uh, two set advertisements. I guess you could count this as a poster if you really wanted to. And then the win at the back. In terms of extra parts, what I got in my copy of the set. I found it interesting that they include an extra lightsaber blade. Overall, this is a pretty cool buildable figure. Uh, the price point is quite steep, and I think that's one of the main reasons why people don't like them. 30 bucks for this figure, eh. You, you can get two battle packs with that kind of price, at least in terms of the battle packs that were released in that year. Um, I'd say get this set on sale, if you can manage to find it on sale in stores anymore. I know it's quite retired. Um... Probably get it for $20 Canadian and under is what I'd recommend a price point for a set like this. Eh, 30 bucks again, seems a little steep, but it's a great figure nonetheless. Definitely glad to have that in my own collection, but yeah, those are more or less my thoughts. Just let me know yours in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this review, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, hit that bell notification, it'd be very much appreciated. And uh, yeah, again, thank you ever so much for watching, and I'll see you all in a future video. Till then, see you later.